Of all the countless weapons crafted in Korn's demon forges, a small portion are bestowed on the Blood God's mightiest mortal champions. The axe known as Eingrom is one such slaughterous blade. Bound within its metals is a great demon of Korn that provides those who bear the weapon with an exhaustible well of rage and hatred. Like so many implements of slaughter, Eingrom has changed hands on many occasions since its forging, each time pried from the dead grasps of its previous wielder. Eingrom was originally gifted to Valarak the Profane, Lord of the Murderfist tribe, for the carnage he inflicted during the early years of the Age of Chaos. Valarak was murdered when his tribe was surrounded and overrun by two rival war hosts, whereupon the masters of those two gore-soaked armies fought to the death to claim their prize. The victor was Hamor, the Brazen Butchers, and with Eingrom in his possession, he carved out a gruesome empire in Chamon, until he too was cut down in battle and Eingrom was taken up by another. Centuries later, and with incalculable bloodshed to his name, Eingrom was taken up by the exalted Deathbringer Beck the Red, who led a brutal campaign through the Gurish Hornvale. Eventually, this champion and his slaughterborn warriors were ambushed by the teeming mass of the Beasts of Chaos. The combat that followed was so bloody that, at its end, Beck the Red sunk his ensorcelled blade into the enemy Beast Lord's head just as he was impaled on the ferocious creature's horns. With the death of these two warriors, Eingrom fell into the mud and mangled viscera. The demon within it raged at its inertness, hungering for new flesh to hew and fresh skulls to take but none were about to answer the call. In the realm of chaos, the tortured cries of Eingrom echoed not only throughout Korn's domain, but also through the gilded halls of Slaanesh's pleasure palace. There, the servants around the Dark Prince's empty throne reveled in the anguish they heard, sensing the suffering of the encaged demon that could no longer slake its thirst for murder. The unending roar of torment gave inspiration to an infernal enrapturous, who saw an opportunity to create a new symphony in which the demons of the Blood God would be her unwilling instruments. Thus she set onto the mortal realms to find where the raging blade lay fallow. But the movements of Slaanesh's herald did not go unnoticed. In Korn's domain, bloodletters and flesh hounds gathered to hunt down the would-be Slaaneshi thief and to reclaim Eingrom so that it could be once more used for slaughter. Welcome to the theft of Eingrom. Einhorn. Eingrom. 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 Eisenhorn. Eisengard. Hobbits. No. The theft of Eingrom. The sword into which the Enraptress of Slanesh wants to steal from Korn because she likes the sound of its voice. Literally, that's what yep. it is, as I would have discussed in the voiceover. So we've got the first mission of Wrath and Rapture here, where your sneaky Slanesh <clears throat> forces are trying to... Um, Steal my sword. And cram a man through a doorway. An unwilling man through a door. <laughs> this man has no choice. <laughs> you will go through yeah, the door. Yeah, you will go through the door. So, this is the first mission. So, Matt, what do we need to do? You're trying to steal this uh, this artifact, aren't you? Well, I am. I'm trying to steal the artifact. This Enraptress um, here wants to get the... Uh, the sword of Eingrom for herself. Yeah. Because there's perpetual suffering of it screaming because it has no quarry. Is uh, turning her on, basically. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to do that, I need to start my phase within three inches of the sword, which is conveniently in a little chest. Um, Slanesh get first turn they do. as well, automatically. And just to go over the victory conditions, Slanesh wins if I can grab this sword, a major victory, if I can grab it and finish the game wholly within my territory. I win a minor victory if I've stolen it, but I'm not wholly within my territory. Corn gets a minor victory if kill. If I I had the sword and got killed, kill. You win a major victory kill. if you kill me before I get the sword. Cool. All right. And the forces for this is the first mission of Wrath and Rapture. So on my side, I've got one you well two units of five blood letters, and uh, one unit of flesh hounds which are in reserve. And Matt just has the five seekers and the Enrapturous. Yep. So they um the flesh hounds will come on at the end of the second round. Second movement phase. Second move. Yeah. So second end of the second movement phase because they hear the call. Six inches on, on. on from the corners of territory. More than nine away from enemy units. Yes, yeah, so I think we're going to go straight into it, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, so this is a narrative game, so is your Enraptress ready to she's sprint? She's got to be. Has she yeah. got the blood of Usain Bolt? Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. We'll find out in a second. Dimension as well. 
so um, just so you are aware, I had to set up the units of Bloodlers 12 away, more than 12 from the objective, more than 12 away from each other, and more than 3 away from the enemy territory. And Matt wants to mention something. Um, so, Swanesh, it doesn't say otherwise, but later on, when I have to have the Choirs of Torment, which is a battle trait, yep. it says I have to be of the Pretender's battle trait. Yep. So I'm just going to run my whole army as the Pretender's battle trait up until then, because thematically it fits why they change their battle trait part way through. Sounds good. That means I get two command traits rather than one. Nice. And if I've got ten or more models in the unit, they can re-roll ones to hit. Woo. Which they already do. Yeah. <laughs> good um, stuff, good stuff. So I get two command traits and I'm going to pick um, Invigorated by Pain. So each time I inflict a wound on a six up, my general gets healed one wound. Cheeky. And a lot of Sonesh. Subtract one from hit rolls made by melee weapons that target this general. Cheesy. And that's what it will be throughout. And I just thought, oh, I mean, if I need it for later on, I might as well start it now. Yep. And the other thing is we're not using artifacts in this battle. Nope. Just um, everything from the book, basically. Yep. It just it doesn't mention that. It just feels like if I have to have it later, then yeah. I should probably have it now. It doesn't make sense. Yep. So we'll be on with my turn one. In a yeah, nothing of the hero phase. Just nothing to do with the hero phase. So we'll back with some movement. Again, command point. That's right. It. Time to sprint for that sword, you slaneshy bugger. <laughs> getting, getting a one on the run. What's our move? Six? Six inches. Brings her up to no! seven inches. <laughs> That's what I actually didn't need. Because I need to get within three of this. Do you to want to spend it. a command point to make that a six? I do. So, yep, yeah, okay. My one and only command point that I've earned so far. Because that makes a massive Add difference. Five more inches. There yeah. we go, that's better. Just uh, taking the hit, they're just going to charge straight just on. Just going to go within three inches or, or thereabouts. Yeah. Sprinting forward, uh, the Enraptress is getting close to the objective, and the, the Seekers have sprung into action, holding up that small unit of blood letters to the surprise of the corn, but a welcome oh, surprise. I just realised something. Oh, what did you realise? Oh, I should have run with those. Oh, no, but I There's still no, could have got round. Yeah, because the base can't mm. fit through here, but Make... he is going to tie up those blood yeah. letters, if not so, killing them. So I might as well just charge. Well, shooting phase, but... Ran. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. So charges. Charge phase. Don't get a double one. Okay, <laughs> with a seven, you're good. So now you can, yeah, get right around there. Yeah. Weaving through the lines, the Seekers have unwrapped the, the uh, blood letters from behind for a devastating charge. And what just happened there? I just like to point out where my tongue, my mouth's tongue is. That was not by design. It that was. It, it was ish, but not. It was more. I'm going to put it there. Oh, look, it's tonguing its butt. <laughs> Death by butt tonguing. Not a bad way to go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, family friendly channel. Um, let's continue. So uh, we'll. Well, I think they're just basically piled in like they are. Yeah. So yeah. We'll I guess I dice. could pile in and shimmy a bit so, more if I wanted. Yeah. Crashing into the lines. Let's uh, let's swing. Oh, well, let's go. What sports first? So first, I'm going to attack my seekers. I'm going to attack with the piercing pe claws. piercing claws on top. Mm -hmm. They get two attacks each, plus one because there's a heart seeker. So cool. eleven attacks. I have a standard bearer there, so I can reroll ones to hit. Because I'm statistic killers, an unmodified attack of a six inflicts two hits on the target. Sweet. So these are hitting on fours, rerolling ones. No sixes and one one. Comes a six. Nice. So I hit on fours. Just add one of those threes in. And yeah. Now I wound on fours. That's seven hits. Ooh, one, two. two. That's these not very good. Do rend have one. a rend. Six up save. So that's two damage in the pool so far. Two cut down from the steeds of Slender. Well, the Seekers. Now the actual steeds themselves. Time Five for seats. a butt tonguing. <laughs> butt tonguing. Four attacks. Had ten attacks. Fours and fours. Okay. They don't get the thing because they are not my piercing claws. Two. two. No rend on this. No rend, so I've got my five up save. Oh, so one more. So that's three, three dead one. blood letters. <laughs> Cut down in the heat of battle. One, two, and I'll take the horn blower because I'll keep my banner bearer for reasons. Yeah. Cool. So the blood letters turning around to mace, face their quarry. They swing with their, their hell blades. Three attacks, hitting on fours. Okay, so we've got two hits, yeah. but one of them is a mortal wound so far. So and one then, wound in the pool. Yep, and then they're wounding on threes. Two wounds and negative one rends. So. so six up save. Yep. So, two, so uh, one goes through, so that's two damage in total. Two damage, that kills one. 
Nice. We've got successful. two wins apart. Blah! Boom. Yes, and then we'll go on to straight on to battle. Battle shock because it makes a difference because we've both got standard bearers. So they can come back. So you roll first. It's your turn. You're Three. Good. I'm looking for a one. He yes. gets it. <laughs> oh. Yes, Colin was ready. Blink! And two more come back. So two out of the warp. That's not what I wanted. Two blood letters come back. He brought his trumpet with him. Oh, yeah. Trusty trump his trusty trumpet. Now the tongue's going for the front. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're going to go straight on to my turn. Yes. So be right back, corn, turn one. Nothing to do in my hero phase, so all I'm going to do is go straight to the movement, whereas these guys are just going to basically... Five inches yeah. gets them within three nicely. Yes, reacting to the Amaratrix trying to sprint past them. And uh, at, you hear some barking. Bark, bark, bark. That's what they sound like. Bark, bark, bark. bark. In the distance. <laughs> really quiet. Barks. Around. Cool. So should we just go straight on to rolling for charges? No, I'm going to put these on. Not yet. Oh, no. Yes, charges. So, this one. They're in with a six. That's more than in. Uh, probably should measure it, so I'll be back. We'll show you how they end up. So, the first the battle, they're going to keep their momentum going, so I'm going to swing with these guys first. So, I get five attacks. I'm hitting on fours. Six is a mortal in addition. So, we've got three hits and one mortal wound. Yep. Wounding on threes. And two saves at minus one. Two six-up saves. So three damage totals. That'll cut another one down. Cuts one down. Uh, what do I get rid of? Mm. Rerolling ones. Trumpet. What does the trumpet do? I don't know. <laughs> Let's check the rules, which Wait, are... Funky music. <laughs> no more music. <laughs> Hornblower. Uh, oh, you should have rerolled to Battleshock last turn. Oh, I need to remember rules with a new army. It's happened now. I will, yeah, get rid of the Hornblower. What's the odds of him getting another one? <laughs> <laughs> we will find out. Damn new army syndrome. I rolled a one again. He rolled a one as a test. <laughs> this is not going well. I thought I'd re-roll it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to attack back with my Enraptress because yes. I need her to live. Yes. This is not going well for me already. Yes, Corn So I'll, it. I'll be back with my attack shortly. Using a harp as a weapon, swinging the four sod round. <laughs> Three attacks. Three attacks. Hitting on threes. Cool. The six becomes an additional... Ooh, does she have that too? Yes. Cool. So all hit. Nice. So four. Four out of three hit. Wounding on fours. Two. Two. At rend one. Damage so six one. up save. Ah. So one drop, so I will take... Blah, cut down by the harp. Uh, yes. So I'm back with my five attacks back. Right, so let's do this. Five attacks. Cut, cut her down! Ooh, Whoa! One hit. That's what I needed! Wounded on three, does wound. Minus one rent. So six, so up, six save. up save. No, no she takes a wound. Down to what? Five? Or Four down? remaining. Four remaining. She, okay. Not that healthy. She needs to eat her Weetabix. <laughs> Put that there for now. Sweet. So, so uh, the Seekers. Seekers, and then combat's done. So I'll be seeing back in her, a sec. Seeing the Enrapturus get hurt, I think, are hopefully going to be fanatical. Hopefully. Probably not. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> We'll see. Forgive any mistakes we're making with command traits now. It is a new army for Matt. At the end of the day, and I have no idea what Slanesh does. No. Nope. She was minus one to hit, but we're just going to keep going because... It's my right. fault. I forgot the rule. Yeah, whatever. As, as, as the army owner... I'll... Narrative game. <laughs> Narratively, she wasn't alluring them this turn, yeah. but now there's blood on her. It is <laughs> now alluring. it's very alluring. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys are going to attack into that. Sweet. A number of attacks. <laughs> Three rather ones. Nice. So two sixes. Hey, I was right. They were fanatical. Yeah, you might as well hit me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> An unmodified six. So that That's three additional hits. That's and nice. one misses and three additional hits. Nice. That's good. Force to wound. Oh, oh wow. One, two, three, four. One, two, wait. three, four, five, six wounds. Seven. Seven. Seven wounds. Uh, wow, well, at minus one. This is what I needed earlier. <laughs> so, six up save. Uh, valiant effort, but one, two, three, four, five, that will be the rest of the unit, and that is a blood tithe point. Battle shock, so I'll test for the blood letters first, it is my turn. Nope, none come back no, though, and the seekers? No, no, none come back. So we're going to go straight into priority, who keeps the flow of battle? Corn gets five, that's uh, a one. That's a one. <laughs> if you want to reroll it, you can, but... There we Either go. way, cool. I lost. So I'll be back with Corn turn two, I think, and uh, now the bark bark gets louder. Yep. The corn bloodhounds are being deployed. Bark, bark. 
back back. He's coming in from the other side of the battlefield. He doesn't want to deal with my seekers. His no. goal is to kill the Enraptress. Oh, so that makes sure I actually hold it within my territory. Oh, they are quite nice, yep. actually. So he's quite far away. This is the end of the movement phase. Yep. He didn't have a hero phase because nope. he doesn't have a hero. They're in combat. They couldn't move. Yep. End of movement phase. They turn up. His shooting phase is now done, and so now straight on to combat phase. Five attacks, keeping the momentum going. Five attacks, come on, I want to see all sixes. Nope. We've got one. Minus no, one to hit. No hits. No hits. A whiffer. Three attacks back. Three attacks back. Enraptress. Hitting on threes. Does she reroll ones? No, I don't no, think No, she so. doesn't. But double checking, my invigorated pain, e e I inflict a wound on an enemy. Okay, okay. so it's at the end. But this becomes two. Yep. Wounding on fours. No wounds. No wounds. Wow, stalemate. Stalemate. My turn too. <laughs> Thing to do in the hero phase, but the seekers have turned round after finishing off what was left of those blood letters to help the Enraptorus with these uh, these blood letters that are tying her up in combat. So shooting phase, Matt. Yes. Who? Matt, she, what profile are you? I gonna think use? I'm going to go for the machine gun Joe. The, yeah, the Machine Gun Joe one. I don't know what it's actually called. I'm not going to try and pronounce it, because I will Can say I see? it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear you try and pronounce it. Let me see. No. That's the Heartstring Liar Cacophonous Melody. Yeah, I would have said that wrong. <laughs> you can't tell me no good English. <laughs> cool. I make so, up words. Six shots? Six shots hitting on threes, okay. moving on fours. Nice. Three hits. Three hits. Winning on fours, rent one, damage one. Two, two wounds? Two wounds at rent one. So two six up saves. Nope, nope. It's double one, so that's going to be two drop ins. Because take... I've inflicted the wound, just double checking. Just each time I inflict a wound, on a six up, I heal one. I no. do not heal. No healing of wounds now, sir. So we're going to go straight onto your charge phase. I think it's just the Seekers crushing into the, the what's left of the, the blood letters. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to become a thing for your slash, isn't it? It is. I mean, um, when you position tongues like that. Ah, yes, butt tongue. <laughs> <laughs> So who's going first? The I'm going to do the my seekers. seekers, because I feel like they'll hit harder. Yep, fair enough. Seven attacks, mm -hmm. so two each, plus two. she gets an extra attack. Yep. Hitting on fours. Rerolling ones, because my banner's so still two alive. Two hits so far, just two hits? Just two, three hits, because they're four. Oh, three hits, sorry. Yeah. Wounding on fours. Two, two wounds minus one. Rend one. I like the rend on your guys, actually. Yeah, just a little bit rend. Uh, nope, that's going to finish them off. That's another blood tithe point to me. However, See, I've got a big box of corn. Do I sell it in the hell? No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, and do I still roll battle shock even though there's not a unit there? Um, and the chance of bringing people back. You didn't lose anyone. So, so I don't no, roll. Yeah, correct. Okay. So, after cleaning up what's left, but the flesh hounds have entered the battlefield. Yes. The Amarcus is looking over. She needs to get that objective. Is that going to be priority now? 100%. 100%. I think priority. I've already done the math, so I basically need to... Grab that and run. Okay. Because this is now we're entering turn three. Yep. I need to snap so turn you... four within three inches. Yeah, that's of it. right, that's right, yeah. Which then means turn four, I need to move and run. Turn five, move and run gotcha. for a major victory. All right, let's do this. So uh, I win ties, I get a four, you get a five. Are you going to take it? I would like to take nice. it. So we'll go over to uh, Slaneshi. Turn three. <laughs> Actually, what you want to do is get just yeah, within yeah, three. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about the Seekers? Where are they going to gallop um, off to? Just within three. That, yeah, just maximum. Yeah. Um, so she's within... Is she within... It doesn't make a difference. I'm not going to... I think, I'm honestly... You could charge and wrap around. I can. But... What is their movement? Eight. Very not, corn. Not very fast. So in going like that to I avoid get to the wrap around, I get to reroll charges. Yeah, and in doing that to avoid you wrapping around and pulling me in. Yes. I'm closer. If I do that, you can wrap around and pull me in. Yes. I'm going to risk the wrapping around and pulling in. Oh, cool! I'm down for that. I feel like that is safer rather than. See, I thought you were going to just go straight in for them. That's the other option. I could do that, couldn't I? Fort Tie them up because yeah, they're, 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 they're slower than than you. Fourteen inch. You're, you're just outside of three, basically. You're I mean, technically, I can 2d6 run. There we go. Five, Done. I can just go three inches away. Fump. That's probably closer than three inches, but it'll make a difference in the charge. In fact, I want to spread one inch Inch away. coherency. Like that. Cool. To make it awkward for yep. you. That's fine. We'll go straight cool. into the charge phase. Oh, shooting. Yes. 
Shooting. Uh, are you in range? I think you are with your cacophonous melody. 18 inches yes. I am in. Or do I go for the one that hits better and does what, D6 wounds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm going to go for six because okay. I, I rather I prefer shotgun Wave blasts. Dice. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> so, strumming that poor fellow sounds yeah. wrong. Hitting on threes. <laughs> one, two, three, four hit. Nice. Wounding on fours. It's going to be four, four wounds. So. And one. Okay, I'll check their save and be back. So that's four six up saves from the strumming cacophonous melody. Nope, so that's going to be two flesh hounds biting the dust. So I'll just take foom and foom. Foom foom. Now go straight into the charge Charges. Phase. I'm going to charge. Yeah. You're in with I'm a nine. Nine. So we'll yeah. see crashing into the lines, stopping them from getting... Lick your back. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so get some dice and be back. Crashing into the line, seven attacks from the guys on top. Yep. Rerolling ones because nice. the banner is still there. Okay. That many here, that but that's one. a six. Yep. Now fours. Woo. One, two, three, four at rend one. Consistent. Six up. That's going to kill one more and wound another. So, and one down to one wound. Six attacks now from the mounts. Yep. Fours and fours, no rend. Do they reroll ones? That's what I'm just going to double check. Standard bearer, you can reroll hit rolls of a one for attacks made by a unit that yep. contains a standard bearer. Yep. And it converted. Nice. Very nice. Fours. Two more. Two. No rend on this one. No rend. So get one. Five up save. Mm. Uh, that's going to kill. This one and put a wound on the Gorehound, I think they're called. Yep. So I'll get some dice. It's just going to be four dice to swing back. On Gorehound, you've got to do, do it. Thing on threes, though, which is kind of nice. Ooh. And then wounding on fours. That's one, one wound. wound, no rend. Five up save. Ah, oh, damn it, didn't kill one. I make it. <laughs> Woo! All right, so we're going to go on to my turn, isn't it? Yes, yeah, because I, mean, I don't get battle shock because I didn't get hurt. It's just going to be this melee. Straight to combat. Yep, because I'm not going to... Well, I could retreat and then you'll just charge me in the back. So yeah, true. You no might point. as well try and fight your way through so me. my turn three. Yeah. This is the melee. So the gore hound. Oh, I've got a shooting phase. Oh, you do? I'm going to puke on you. Two's to hit. You Hits. puked. It's a four to wound. It doesn't, doesn't wound. <laughs> what would have that done if it had connected? One damage. One damage. Yeah. <laughs> so three hits. Ooh. And three wounds. Three five up saves. Yes. I make oh, none. Just two. Two. So Hinge him. Banner's dead. The banner? This one? Yep. And oh, do I keep the icon berry to get more back? I can get more back. Or I can put one extra attack to kill you. Yep. Get rid of the, the leader. I want the icon berry. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll get my attacks. I won't even be back with it. I'll just do it now. Yeah. Two right. attacks. Guys on top. Two hits. One's a six. Woo! Oh, thank you. Yeah. Fours. Two. Rend one. Ah, no. Four falters. He dies. And then, if we look at this guy, tee -hee! Runs off. Because that's, 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 I have nothing left. Yep. Get your box with you, sir. I, what I would have done, two to six inches, six inches wouldn't have got me there, but if I run I and no, get... I have nothing else. So yeah, and I get a one per one, because yep. you can't get less than that. I make it. Right. And I got a major victory. Yeah. I stole the little chest. <laughs> he did, with the sword and toe. Yes. So, so I don't know what I'm carrying it with. Very Am I getting angry. him to carry it? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Should I get up my dress? I don't know. <laughs> so, what's going to happen now is that's going to pee off a lot of corn. Yes. Demons, and um, then they will gonna, start jump, pursuing us. We're going to go jump through so many mm. realms that it's going to rouse Karanak from his sleep. Uh oh. And then we're going to do the pursuit. So, next mission, you'll see. Karanak. Three blood crushes and five flesh hounds. The, the, the blood they, letters go. Yeah. They're dead now, but I gain three fiends. Yes. Karanak will have that skull of the Unrapturous. She will be dead. No, you won't. When you go to attack her, what she will do is throw poor Joff <laughs> in the <laughs> way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then she will scurry away and find a new guy called Jeff. <laughs> His brother! Whoa, whoa! <laughs> what were the odds? <laughs> awesome. Alright, cool. So we'll be back next time with the pursuit. Ooh.